Cursor 1.0 just landed and solo dev workflows will never be the same. Wild, right? It's not just an update, it's a mindset shift. I woke up, made coffee, opened my laptop and boom, the Cursor AI changelog was right there. And just from that first scroll, four things stood out. Bugbot, the background agent, notebook editing, and the new project memory system, early morning, June 6th, Paris time, still half asleep. And I'll be real, my brain genuinely lit up. Not just because the UI was different, but because Cursor is quietly becoming something way bigger than just another AI coding tool. It's, yeah starting to feel like a real teammate. So today, let's unpack everything that just shipped, why it matters, and how it fits into my workflow as a solo dev who builds iOS apps and Xcode with tools like GPT, Claude, and occasionally voice GPT during my brainstorm walks. First up, Bugbot. This caught my eye immediately, and honestly, it's huge. You know when you're scrolling through a massive PR diff and your soul kind of leaves your body, Bugbot fixes that. It scans every pull request diff and drops inline comments directly into GitHub when it spots bugs or questionable logic. But here's the best part. Each comment has a literal fix in cursor button. Click it and you're instantly back in cursor with all the context preloaded. No more manual copy pasting, no more losing track. Small feature, sure, but massive impact. Let's pause here for a sec, because really, imagine not having to context switch constantly between GitHub, your editor, and back again. It's one of those things that might seem small, but trust me, it feels massive. And for someone like me, who's often juggling multiple projects solo, this is game changing. Next, the background agent is finally out for everyone. If you miss the early access phase, here's the gist. It's like having an invisible dev quietly handling things while you work. Tap the cloud icon and it refactors, debugs, or adds code without interrupting your flow. I ran it on a Swift UI settings view the other day, came back from refilling my tea and cursor had cleaned up the modifiers, fixed a binding, and even simplified some state logic. Zero effort on my part. It means less mental juggling and more staying in flow, especially if you're switching between multiple tasks or juggling features on your own. If you miss the early access phase, here's the thing, it's like having an invisible coding partner. Just tap that little cloud icon and it quietly refactors, debugs, or adds code while you keep working. I used to think AI was kind of like a co-pilot sitting beside me. Now, honestly, it feels like someone else quietly handling things in the background. And the best part, you barely even notice it until suddenly, boom, your code is cleaner or bugs you didn't even spot are fixed. And for all you data science folks or Jupyter enthusiasts, Cursor now directly supports notebook editing. Sounds like Swift Playgrounds, but inside Cursor. Initially, it works with Sonnet models, but you can already feel where this is headed, completely hands-free exploratory analysis. Yeah, that's genuinely exciting. I mean, imagine just sketching out your ideas and then mm, watching Cursor transform them into working notebook cells automatically. Honestly, I legit did a double take. It's like magic. Now, here's something I didn't see coming. Uh, memories, uh, still in beta as well, but um, already feels like a game changer. Cursor remembers your project-specific context, preferences, naming conventions, conversations, and surfaces that later. Just toggle it on in settings rules. An AI that knows you prefer uh, camel case over snake case or minimal home tabs. Yeah, that's context. And context is everything. It's kind of like having a personal assistant that doesn't forget anything ever. Then there's the one-click MCP setup with OAuth support. If you're running your own AI servers or custom models, Cursor now spins them up instantly and handles GitHub or Slack OAuth with just one click. Enterprise-level setup doesn't need to feel enterprise-level anymore. 
cursor gets it. And honestly, not spending an entire afternoon on configuration. Yeah, that's huge for me. Chat got richer too. Inline mermaid diagrams, markdown tables, right in the chat thread, less switching apps, more flow. So yeah, nice. It's these little things, right? Like sketching architecture quickly without breaking your rhythm. This is what makes Cursor feel less like a tool and more like a genuine teammate. Settings and dashboard got a refresh. Not just cosmetic, it's genuinely useful. Analytics breakdowns by model or tool. Admin options like disabling privacy mode or pulling metrics via an API. Cursor feels grown up now, more serious, in a good way. It's like they took a step back and said, what do real users genuinely need? And honestly, they nailed it. Oh, and those quality of life tweaks sprinkled throughout. PDF ingestion, improved network diagnostics, faster replies from parallel tool calls, collapsible tool call blocks, even a built-in shortcut cheat sheet. Cursor is tighter, smoother, and just more intuitive. These aren't flashy features. They're quiet improvements that make every interaction smoother. And yeah, quick side note, Gemini 2.5 flash is now in max mode because obviously we needed more speed, right? So if you're like me and swap models, depending on the task, it's nice having that extra horsepower. So yeah, why does all this actually matter? Because cursor isn't just throwing random features around. It's becoming strategically helpful where it counts, writing cleaner code faster, staying in the zone and minimizing context switching. Sure, it's still AI, it needs guidance, but bug bot, background agent, memories, they make cursor feel less like a chat bot and more like a genuine second brain. And as a solo dev, that's huge. No teammate reviewing my PRs, no PM managing roadmaps. Cursor is starting to fill those gaps. So what's next? I'm diving deeper into these features over the next few weeks, starting a fresh Swift UI app, maybe a little Pomodoro style timer with custom workflows, some Firebase backend magic, classic solo Swift crafter vibes. I'll leverage cursor 1.0, top to bottom, from planning layouts, generating views, refining logic, to testing the background agent and seeing how much boilerplate it can handle without feeling like I'm cheating, just working smarter. And of course, I'll document it all here. So yeah, huge vibes. That was my quick first look, a vibe check, my reflections on Cursor 1.0 and why it genuinely matters. If you've tried it already, let me know what's clicking for you in the comments. If not, now's the perfect time. Just hit help, check for updates, or grab the fresh installer from their website. I'm Daniel, this is Solo Swift Crafter. If you're into solo iOS dev and all the AI tools behind it, hit subscribe. Lots more good stuff coming your way soon. Peace.